Hi everyone, merhaba. This is Ayşenur Altan. Welcome to Turkish Food and Travel. As you can see and you know from the title, I prepared a festive breakfast for you, special for this Kurban event, Kurban celebration. We will be celebrating in Turkey and worldwide uh, in Muslim countries. And I wanted to give you an example of how we uh, make a festive breakfast. I shared all the details with you from beginning to till end. So let's see how I prepared this table and come back. Let's begin. I'm gonna begin by serving my olives. Let's take a closer look. First one is red pepper stuffed green olives. It is my favorite from uh, my childhood. It has a very tangy taste and I saw in European countries making this one too. Next, let's take a look at this naturally pickled crushed green olives. These are milder than the first one. Has kind of a, a sweet taste too. It doesn't have much salt in it. Next, these small beauties from uh, Hatay region, from the uh, eastern part of the Anatolia, the uh, Halhali Zeytin. They are harvested from uh, hundreds of years old olive trees uh, from Hatay. And as you can see, they are very small, tiny. I wanted to serve this with uh, sprinkling some sumac and drizzling olive oil. And finally, of course, we have black olives. These are usually from a Marmara and Asian region from Ivaluk part. And these are kind of must have in uh, breakfast, in Turkish breakfast. Next, the gems, my favorite ones. I wanted to order some different ones to show you. And first one is chestnut jam. We actually call it a chestnut dessert also. It is almost the same thing. You cook the whole chestnuts in syrup, end up having beautiful jams or dessert. Next, fig jam. It's one of our favorites at home because my husband is from Trabzon City, Black Sea Coast. And there they have beautiful fig trees. And when we go there, we both enjoy fresh or as a jam. The third one is really interesting. It is walnut jam. It is made from unripe walnuts. You just peel the outer skin, which is uh, already green, not uh, ripe yet. And they have a really unique, intense flavor of its own. I kept the most favorite one as a last to serve, which is rose jam. This one is of course homemade. I shared the recipe on my channel and got many lovely comments. Some of them uh, you even didn't taste it. I really recommend you to uh, try. If you have your own garden with damask rose that you can cook, make sure you try. Or if you are lucky, you can buy it from uh, street bazaars like I did. Otherwise, you can buy and try it too. I'm also placing small dessert spoon to serve my gems. 
One of the essential and traditional things we eat in breakfast is tomatoes and cucumbers. We have the small cucumber types. We call Çengelköy salatalı Kirby cucumbers. I think they look pretty cutting like this. And for the tomatoes, I'm just going to cut it in wedges. Next, we have a hearty subject cheeses. First, hallin peyniri, halloumi cheese. We usually serve it by a frying, but since I had many different kinds, I didn't open it after that. And this one is çörek otlu abaza peyniri. It comes from Abazian's uh, tribe and the cheese is made by their methods. And next, örgü peyniri, which is string cheese. I really like this one. It has a different texture, a bit on the salty side, but it goes well with the breakfast. And this is taze kaşar peyniri. A kaşar cheese, regular one, we usually have this to make toast, use it in eggs and other dishes. I also use it to make börek along with tam yağlı beyaz peynir. We can translate it as a Turkish white cheese. And it is also an essential one in Turkish cuisine and breakfast. Again, there are many types. This one is aged like at least for uh, four to six months, I think, and has a more denser flavor than the ones that are not weighted that much. And the last one is Manya's peyniri. This is also very delicious. It is hard cheese, salty. You just have to taste it. It's hard to describe all the types. So let's begin to prepare it to my plates. Since I'm about halfway done with my preparations, it's time to brew my Turkish tea. You can watch the detailed recipe on how to make Turkish tea from the links. Next, I have more sweets to serve. Tahini helva with pistachio. Tahini paste and molasses. We're gonna mix them. And natural honeycomb and clotted cream. First, let me show you how tahini helva looks like. It looks pretty like this and smells so yummy, so I'm gonna serve it like that. Before serving tahini and molasses, make sure you give it a mix to tahini paste. Sometimes the oil part can come on top. And just pour it same amount to the bowl and give it a gentle mix. I'm going to serve my honeycomb, petekni bal and clotted cream kaymak next to each other as they are good friends. If you are a good watcher in the recent episodes you probably know I shared these two delicious spreads 
Ajuka and Ajwar. You can get the detailed recipes from the description box below on my channel. My table is done, my tea is brewing, I'm ready to cook the final hot dishes on stove top. First I have rolled yufka börek with cheese. I will share the recipe in the upcoming episodes. Next I'm gonna serve cooked meat kavurma in two ways. First with eggs and second plain as a traditionally served in the Kurban celebration breakfast. Okay, uh, we are done. Elhamdulillah, our Kurban festival breakfast. Uh, let me explain a bit what we have. We have raw börek with cheese made from yufka. Of course, we have kavurma. I made two types. One is with eggs. The, traditionally, they rush for the uh, first meat to cook before the breakfast time, so you can eat. But nowadays we usually give to poor people and we usually don't see it, we just give it and uh, there are organizations. So generally in homes we don't see much those days and the real kavurma, the eating in the breakfast. And we have lots of cheeses, we have lots of sweets. Let me mention again, I prepared this breakfast specially for a kurban celebration and for you my friends. Uh, we usually in the normal days don't eat this much varieties. Don't forget we have spreads Ajuka and Ajwar. I already shared the recipes with you. And make sure you try this burek too. This is so delicious. Even though right now it's cooling and my daughter is waiting right here to enjoy this breakfast. Give it a try. If you want to enjoy too in the Urban Festival or any other Days. If you are craving for Turkish breakfast, you have my recipes. You can get some of the goods from online. I will give more details on the description box below. Eid al Adha Mubarak. As we say in Turkish, Kurban Bayramınız Mubarak olsun. Thanks for watching. I hope to see you in another delicious Turkish food recipes and travel vlogs. One more thing. When you are watching this, hopefully I will be in Kastamonu with my daughter and we'll be celebrating this uh, Kurban festival with my family there. So we are really excited and uh, excited to show you uh, how celebration is going on there too, hopefully. So stay tuned for more and see you next time. I wanna try some 
of this beret too. Okay. didn't end here my friends next day I prepared the same table again because I just didn't like the settings of the table so what I did here first I placed the a pan on center and the other things I just uh, scattered around everything and it seemed better this way so in case you want to prepare a, a Turkish breakfast like this I just wanted to give you an idea uh, you can give your comments and thoughts about it which one would you prefer what do you think about it and after I prepared everything I just uh, cooked my hot dishes and serve it On my channel I have many other uh, Turkish menus, breakfast ideas I shared. I will put the links check the description box below. And thanks again since you already watched till the end. Left me a flower in the comments so I know you are one of them who watched till the end. Afiyet olsun.